Alrighty, YouTube, back with the second duel of delay. Let's see if Rugal can grant us the power that we need to draw bust in this. Now, we did cut a reinforcement of the army, and if you have not, this hand is, oh, oh, why, dude, look how busted this hand is. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Wait, he's playing a 47-card deck? Okay, well, we're not scared no more. But I'm pretty sure he's going to have Machine Dupe in his hand because why wouldn't they have Machine Dupe or Dragon's Ravine or something? It's okay. We can possibly, oh, my God. Jesus Christ. In a 47 card deck, folks. In a 47 card damn deck. Come on, man. And I couldn't draw a solar recharge? Alright, so here we go, man. The test against spirals. Can we? I mean, this hand is. Wait, why would I want a solar recharge? I want to use Charge of the Light Brigade. Charge of the Light Brigade um, would possibly. can. Oh, wait. BLS is just busted. Just imagine, like, if we charge a light brigade, right? And then mill, like, two or three darks. Or maybe, like, a sage, a mizuki. Oh, my God. That'd be amazing. Okay. So, it looks like we may be getting feasted and beast. Oh, wait. Never mind. Wait. Did he not? Okay. <clears throat> if he does it right, he can guarantee call my right card. But him playing 47 kind of makes me think he's not going to be able to do it. But you guys already know the combo. Go into a double helix, discard drone, special, another quick fix search. Then big red, the drone to guarantee what I have at the top of my deck. But let's see if he actually makes that combo or is he going to quit? Or is he just not going to do anything of that sort? Uh, and, it, and I mean, I'm glad to guess to see double helix is coded correctly and it's working. So that's good. Um, yeah so let's see man he's taking his time don't understand why it's not really that hard of a combo there is the double helix let's see if he does the actual play and the moment of truth okay it looks like he's going oh, okay he's going for it god damn it almost almost folks almost we almost got away with it we almost got away with it him playing a 40 why are you playing 40 like you're literally playing seven extra cards that you don't need you don't even need seven extra cards like there's no reason for it you just could have just you know let it ride with just fucking uh this this man just let it ride with 40. so we're gonna see what we have at the top of our deck um hopefully this man doesn't take too long for the duel to uh not the duel but his turn to end i'm possibly going to pause it uh no no let's let's watch let's see what he does um he only he has 240 seconds left. 248 gives me another allure. That's actually pretty good. That must mean the next two cards is busted, or I'm not drawing into another dark. I mean, it must not be a dark at the top of my deck, or that's like literally the best card. Um, hopefully, I draw a Regeki or something. That'd be just fucking fantastic. Um, I feel like we can get over it. Um, da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, da 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 What can we do though? Damn, this is actually pretty. It's pretty tough. This hand is actually decent, but the resort is the problem. Um, the the field card is going to be a very big pro proxy dragon. Hey, why are you just didn't go to three and go to that trigate wizard? Hold on, real quick. All right, folks. So we are back. We are back. Um, it looks like uh, what he did was um, he does the regular play. I don't know. Wait, did he Dragon's Ravine? Wait, what the fuck did he Dragon's Ravine for? Because I don't see nothing. Um, so he got Resort in another drone. So he might not be playing Sleeper. I've, I actually talked to somebody who said a lot of people aren't playing Sleeper. And I'm like, what? why, why the fuck would you not play Sleeper? But some people are not playing. And it looks like he's messing up. He only has 100 seconds left. So I'm I'm thinking, do I take this long when I do spirals? I don't feel like I take this long. Uh, okay, so there's a quick fix vanish, which doesn't didn't even need to happen. There's literally no reason for like for this shit to get banished. Like, what are you gonna go into another? What? Okay, so he's playing the student person, but he he didn't he, like it's not in the graveyard, and he, look, he didn't pay half his life once. So I'm guessing he has it in his hand. 
this Destrudu, but you can activate it from your hand, so I don't get what the problem is. Um, is that his first resort? Yes, that is. Oh, there's a sleeper. Okay, but yeah, man. So he's playing seven extra cards for literally no reason. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, uh, yeah, some people aren't playing sleeper. Talking about it's it's not good. I'm like, that's uh, it's probably one of the dumbest. Like that. That's just stupid. Like, why the fuck would you not? Like, sleeper is literally the reason why this like combo is. I mean, granted, Helix is you know is. The, the combo is really master plan but i mean helix is the combo but sleeper is what makes it super good because you have a searchable dark arm that pops on either player's turn so you guys need to like do you know how broken dark arm was it still is that nobody plays and like you literally have one of those that's searchable that you can drop and activate on either player's turn that's pretty good and some people are playing it like playing without it. I'm like, yeah, okay. Y'all gonna just lose to a dark hole or something and then y'all can't do shit. That's pretty much what's gonna happen. That's exactly what's gonna happen. He's gonna get his DD Pro. Um, hopefully he does the, uh, uh, which one he's gonna target, the firewall? He's gonna target your super agent that you're probably getting rid of. Okay, well, everybody does the combo a little different. I just don't understand why he's playing seven extra cards it does really doesn't make a lot of sense man okay but he has 15 seconds left and i'm i'm guessing that he can't he, he's not gonna continue his place all right so it looks like we i mean drop the sleeper thank you thank you drop the sleeper i don't want to i don't want to play you without the sleeper man oh shit five seconds just into turn my guy just into turn just into turn come on man no 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 what are you doing what the fuck are you doing? Dude, you got three seconds left. Oh my God. Dude, come on, man. Oh, come on. That was stupid. Does not take that long to do that play, man. What is it? Uh, they give you, what, six minutes for a fucking turn? Is it? Yeah, six minutes a turn, and you can't... What the fuck is this? What the hell? What? What? What on God's green earth is this play? Oh my God, this is bad. I could, oh, this is horrible. Fuck. This is stinky, bro. This is the one something else, I guess. This is a terrible hand. Um, oh, that's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Sadly, the Sheer New Spirit Masters. Oh, that's, 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 that's actually really pretty decent. Oh my god, look, I was drawing. Like, if you effect Valor that or something, I was done for. I was literally drawing four extra monsters after this. And I only play a 42 card deck. Oh no, what is this? Diagram? I don't care about Diagram. There's Gear Town. Holy shit, I care about that. Matter of fact, I don't, because I'm just going to Black Rose the shit out of you, bro. There ain't gonna be nothing you can do about it. I'm gonna just black rose you. There's the ancient. Oh, wait, wait, actually, we may be playing spiral, so be, be on the lookout. Because this can search a card that searches quick fix, which is really good. But he can't set for the rest of the turn, so I'm not really tripping. He might be playing spiral, folks. He actually might just be playing. No, he's, he's just literally playing. Okay, well, that's fine. That's, that's completely fine. Um, he's gonna go Chaos Giant? But if he doesn't go chaos giant, we can we can do some things. I was tempted. Okay. Okay. But this is why BLS is the best card in like existence because of this exact play right here. I can possibly game him. I, I can game him next turn because he can't set. If that's the end of his turn, okay. No, I lose. Do I lose? Forty-four is eighty-eight. Uh, actually, it's 9,000. And I'll lose. Okay. Well, folks. Yeah, man. That was just the end of that. Well, we had game next turn. We had game. But it looks like we just get no TK to left and right. That hurt. That really hurts, man. Jesus, that, that hurt. All right, so with the last duel of the day, let's see what we can actually accomplish here because we just got feasted and beasted on. All right, so this hand is actually really good because if we mill a sage, we're decent. 
And Gozuki. Do we need to trigger that? Absolutely. Let me see. No, we don't need to trigger that. No, not at all. Sweat and Lore. There's a Plague. That's pretty good. But there is also a Western name, which is very, very good. And I don't want to blame. I don't want to banish that because I don't want to give my opponent the satisfaction of knowing what I'm playing. So let's go ahead and do this. And what we can do here is we could dump Mizuki. I was thinking about doing something completely different, but you literally can't do that. Because if I would have did that, that would have been some one of the worst plays that you have ever seen in your entire career. So here, what I can do, is I could dump the two star and just end our turn like that, or dump another Mizuki and establish what's the name. And I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into another Minerva Omega play. So I mean, starting off with Omega, yes we do. Uh, we're gonna banish one of that. I'm gonna use you. Yes, we are. I'm gonna banish this right there. Oh, the Squamata. Okay, that's fine. Oh shit. Now that's actually kind of scary because now I don't want to actually go into a what's the name. So I don't think I'm going to. I'm just gonna go do this. I'm not gonna go in. Uh, uh, I'm not going to be using. I'm not going to be going to a Minerva because I see a Shadal and that's not happening today. We're not about to get Shadal Fusion for game. And since we played Double Burial and we haven't milled any, I feel like that's pretty good because we have a whole bunch of stuff ready to go. Omega dodges, what's the name? We could go ahead and return the Mizuki. Omega dodges the Shadal Fusion. So I feel like we're in some good territory. Um, gladly, I mean, not, I mean, gladly for this door construct is banned, but in hindsight, they, they probably should unban that card because it, it's just not fair for them. I mean, it's it's not Construct's fault. It's that fucking good. It's Konami's fault. Stop making light. You can't make shit like that. I still don't understand why Seraph Knight's not banned because that's literally the same thing as a Construct. You can just dump any light you want to the graveyard. Oh my god, imagine Shadals with Fairy Tail Snow. Wow, that shit would have been worse than it was. So it looks like the uh, Shadal Fusion is sitting in his hand. And what's really good is if you activate this Shadal Fusion and I hit like a Shadal in his hand, um, in real life, he would have to show me his hand to confirm that uh, he doesn't have a Shadal to Fusion Summon. I mean, he doesn't have a way to Fusion Summon. Um, but on here, I believe since it's already automated, you don't really have to check because your opponent's going to definitely have, I mean, the, the computer is going to know if your opponent has it or not. And um, you know you might get some people, or you might get a judge or something like that. Well, you would be like, oh, well, no, he doesn't have a Shadal fusion, or a Shadal. I mean, a, a fusion target. But in in it, the rules state, okay, well that that's cool. We get um two, uh, we get one disconnect, one OTK, and then one one scoop. All right, so we'll be right back. The deck profile. All right, sorry for not being so eventful today. We just didn't have the chance to be eventful um you know like i said we had one uh disconnect we also had one quit uh, i mean we also had an otk which was, would be fun for a lot of people who do not like light swords or zombies so that's cool or if you enjoy ancient gears that was pretty cool for you but yeah thank you guys for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys would like to support the channel all i ask is for you guys to click and add that'll be enough for me and i will see you guys with the last duel in a couple of more hours so please stay tuned.